27 years, maybe. I don't know the month and day it came out, but I think that first clutch record was 96. I guess I should have... <laughs> Devotion to accuracy, I should have oh, right. looked at that first. How but, dare um, you uh, be approximate about something? I wonder if Alex Jones ever used this. Remember prisonplanet.com? Remember that whole thing? Hmm. I wonder if uh, he ever used uh, Escape from the Prison Planet by Clutch for um, the early days of InfoWars over there. You know, he called us not long ago. That was an interesting call from him. Uh, all right, listen, everybody knows that I listen to your podcast, okay, because I need to keep tabs on the lies that you're talking about me. Now, I realize this is several days old, and you don't like to play my content because you don't like to let me defend myself because liberals don't like to hear the other side of the coin. Now, everybody knows that a little sucky sucky and a little bath time, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that, okay, when you go to your mistress's house, all right? Mm. Everybody knows this, all right? This is, this is not a secret, Okay. I forgot about the sucky sucky. Already, and we had yeah, just right. talked about sucky, that not sucky. long ago. A little sucky sucky. <laughs> yeah. Boy, by the way, I wish, um, I would love to be as bankrupt as Alex Jones. And they're trying to get money from him by hook or by crook. And, uh, you know, because he had that billion dollar judgment against him. And even before that verdict came down, he was shuffling money around to shell companies and putting things in his parents' name or whatever. But even in bankruptcy, they're like, he's spending more money than most people make in a year. He's spending, uh, he filed for bankruptcy, but he still spends uh, 40 grand a month in taxes, 14 grand on child care, 10 grand a month in alimony. He says he spends more than seven grand a month on upkeep and repairs to his home. Which means, of course, he's lying about all this. And these are my expenses. Nobody spends $7,000 a month. You buy a new house if you're spending $7,000 a month on upkeep for your home. Well, is he including, like, uh, uh, like electric, like his uh, utility bills? I don't know. I'm sure. I mean, does I'm that sure fall he's, under upkeep? You I, know? I, I, I'm sure he's trying to overestimate what his expenses are in That's some kind of— how you get of, audited. I, I guess. How has he not been audited? Maybe he has. I don't know. He said his assets were only worth around $10 million. Of course, that uh, verdict against him was $1.5 billion to the Sandy Hook families. But I'd love to be that bankrupt. They say that he... Um, the thing that jumped out in the, in the story on this was that uh, he was holding weapons for January 6th attendees. He was holding firearms... For certain participants of January 6th. Because they had to, he had to list his property and what's in it. And, you know, he has three houses in Austin. There's got to be tax write offs, right? When you have multiple houses in the same city. I mean, uh, how is that a tax write off? Because you, I, he's probably renting them out. And I, I don't know. I mean, why would you have three houses in Austin, Texas? Well, they could be rental properties, but that's not a tax write off. Well, you can't write any of that off. It's a, I mean, it's a, unless it's owned by another business, like he has a business or something. Yeah, well, he you does. You can't I mean, write off just be, you can't buy a house and write it off. Well, no, no, I don't mean write it off. I mean, like, you get tax, there are tax incentives to do the things he's doing. I don't know. He owns three vehicles, two boats, two guns. He wants people to believe that he has two guns and a cat. There's, there it is. There's the money pit. Mm. I was going to ask you. That's stupid where all the money's cat. going, right? The cat, stupid cat. I had to pick up my dumb cat's prescription food today. It was $34 for a bag of it. That doesn't sound expensive for pre- prescription pet Dude, food. Cat food is, pet food is cheap. Like, I would no, get. No, no, when I, the stuff I buy for my dog, like, off the shelf is, like, $30. Not for a four-pound bag of it. A ba- the bag mm-hmm. is, like, yeah, this okay. big. okay. I would normally get so since she's that been still a kitten, sounds cheap for specific no. really when she yeah. was a uh, she her entire life she I would get the big twenty pound bags of Purina just indoor cat food it's like sixteen bucks and I'd have to buy like two of them a year so I went from spending thirty two dollars a year on cat food to thirty two dollars a month on cat food hmm. it's yeah she has stupid they're just pets are money pits I feel like they're always I'm always putting money into this dumb cat. I love her. Well, you're lucky when it's just food. No, it's everything. It's vet bills. She yeah, won't stop having bills. crystals in her pee. 
You can't Perhaps. sell those crystals? I was going to say. They are aligning her chakras. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any chance that those could be um, monetized? I can try. You know, sold to some... Um, give them to me. We're going to Sedona for um, spring break. I'm sure I'll find some rubes out there who near the vortices who would uh, enjoy some cat pee crystals. You might like it. Like Folgers yeah. back in the day. Best part of waking up. It's crisps from your cat's pee. <laughs> yeah, nailed it. I knew good. it. I knew it. I got money for you. It's the last day for you to get yourself $1,000 and go fund yourself. 9.30 tonight with the leggy and vivacious Corey Roddick. Going to be the very last chance for you to win. So you got a bunch between now and then. So listen closely and good luck. The buzzard wants you to go fund yourself and score $1,000. Enter the nationwide keyword check at WMMS.com. That's check. Enter it now at WMMS.com. And good luck from Buzzard Radio. Al, I'm currently at the gym listening to you guys on the app, but good Lord, there's a lady here who can crush a brick with her thighs, and I think I'm in love. See that video of the woman who got attacked at the gym in Florida? Mm-hmm. So last night we took an Uber to High and Dry, and my girlfriend brought that up, and her Uber driver is like, yeah, I saw that. It was crazy. And then we watched the video in the Uber. And, yeah, that is insane. That's so scary. There's the uh, security footage from two separate rooms. So you see this guy come in one room, and he kind of sits down. He told cops when they showed up that he was intending to sexually assault this woman. He walks over to her, and there's no sound, but you can figure out what's going on. And then he jumps at her, and, she, and, and she's uh, punched him, and then they end up, because the whole time I'm watching, I'm like, don't let him get his arms around you. Don't let, and of course he does. And then they start grappling and he's, you know, down. And she fights him off. And all I'm thinking is, you're surrounded by weights. You swing a dumbbell at some guy's head. And because it's not like this guy was a cheetah, you know, he looked a little bit larger. And, you know, I don't know where he came from, but she's fighting this dude off. Um, she's the only one in, at least in these two rooms where the cameras were. Yeah, I think shooting. she was the only one in the gym when this happened and yeah. she let him in. Because she thought oh, she was, let him in. She let him in because it's like they're it was a gym on like the property that she lives at, like in her apartment complex. And she thought he was just another guy coming in to work out. And then this happens. Yeah, Terrible. it's pretty wild. I'm glad she was able to fight him off. I mean, listen, if you're going to mess with a girl at the gym, you better hope she's not like an MMA fighter or something like that. You don't know what her. Uh, what her CV is. Because she was lifting, I think, when the guy walked in. It's mm-hmm. not like she was on the elliptical or something. Bobbing a ponytail behind her. Alan, uh, tell Mary my cat's prescription cat food is $60 for a small bag. Yeah, that's oh, there you goes. go. My cat's breath smells like cat food. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's that from? <laughs> That's Ralph Wickham from yeah. <laughs> Simpsons. Uh, this tastes like burning. <laughs> so, uh, dude from Cleveland is the new coach of the Arizona Cardinals. He was with the Eagles. Guy named John Gannon is uh, the brand new coach of the Arizona Cardinals. He's a St. Ignatius grad. Um, and they're very excited to have him there. He's going to build the team around Kyler Murray, who he says is their elite quarterback. And so some people are considering this uh, ushering in a new era there for people who are Arizona Cardinals fans. Now, I'm more interested in the guy he replaced. Uh, this guy named Cliff Kingsbury, who was the coach of the Arizona Cardinals. They had just re-signed him to a contract extension. Which has got to be great because when they get rid of you, he had a losing season with Cliff Kingsbury. And so when they get rid of you, you're like, man, they resigned me. They got to pay me out, right? Right. This guy buys a one way ticket. This is all I want to do. I want to be a head coach of the NFL in the NFL for one season. Yes. Get a five year contract. Fire me after the first eight games. I don't care. Just give me that contract. <laughs> it's the greatest scam in, yes. Sign you for five years, fire you after one, pay you for four. Perfect. I mean, you don't want to be out of the game for too long either. I mean, you want to be doing what you do, but there's no pressure when you're getting paid. Anyway, Cliff Kingsbury was the guy who was coaching the Cardinals. This guy buys a one-way ticket to Thailand because he has a super hot girlfriend. 
He's got this Polish Instagram model. He's 43. She's 29. Uh, Veronica Bielik or something. Have you seen this girl? I'm looking at her right I now. I mean, Cliff Kingsbury, you know, he's yeah. he's in good shape, whatever. He's an NFL coach. Uh, not anymore. But uh, I would buy a one-way I ticket to that, Thailand, too. he's still paid. He is paid. Yeah. He's not coaching. But yeah. that, to me, is the, what job. a great story that is. He's like, all right, I'm going to see you guys later. I'm going to go to Thailand with my super hot girlfriend. Such a different story, though, if he doesn't go with his super hot girlfriend. If he gets fired from the Cardinals <laughs> and he's just like, hey, I'm going to go to Thailand. Leave me alone. For yeah. a while. Yeah. I'm a 43-year-old man. What? I can't go to like that old Todd Berry joke. I can't go to Thailand by myself? Is that weird? Oh, with a one-way ticket? So he's uh, he's loving life. He probably has no regrets at this point. He's got plenty of things to keep him busy. Yes. Speaking of young girls, I guess I was reading a thing this morning that DiCaprio was really pissed that people think that he has a thing for young girls. Well, bud. He does not. Yeah, like, right. He does not like this rep that he has. I mean, you kind of created it. Yeah, but also, hey, like. stop saying accurate things about me. I don't like it. But do you have to, um, I mean, he's 48 years old. What's the big deal if he likes girls who are in their mid-20s? Well, he doesn't just like girls in their mid-20s. That's He gets rid of them when they're in their mid-20s. <laughs> yeah, but he What's, likes them all the way up to that. I don't get the problem. I mean, here's the thing. It, the way I see it is, if you're single, your life's not that different whether you're 25 or whether you're 45. You're you still were. single. You What? They're, they're, they're so different. Follow me here. You're single. You don't have any responsibilities. You have no children. He's a famous guy. He's dating hot younger girls. Their lives don't have to be. I mean, you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. It's like young married couples. They hang out with other married couples. And a lot of times those are older couples, right? You have seen a young married couple. What are they doing? They're living that kind of life. So they're hanging out with other people who are married. Kids are not. They're talking about their lawns and they're doing you know, things like that. So if you're 45 and single or 25 and single, you're going to be in different pools, but your lives don't have to be that different. So DiCaprio, he's a single dude, doesn't have kids. He, he's not leaving anyone in the lurch. He's taking umbrage at this. He doesn't like that people say that that's all he's out there for. And my question is, what's the matter with that? What's the problem with people Prove going? Prove us wrong. Go out with uh, an average girl. Yeah, go, no, not an average girl, but like an, date an older woman. I think that he thinks this is just bad PR. Why would it be bad PR? Because of the way everybody talks about him, all the jokes they make about him. I mean, he's oh, still... Wah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, you asked what the explanation was. That's the explanation. This is a guy who is a serious actor, and he doesn't want people just pigeonholing him as the guy who bangs 19-year-olds. <laughs> but, but what? I mean, the longest relationship the guy had was with, uh, what's her name? What do you call her? Jenny Budichin. Oh, Giselle Budichin? Budichin. Bunchin is the Bunchen. name. Yeah. <laughs> How long did he date her? Like six years, 20 years ago. I but know. I'm saying, they're, they're as a public figure, they're going to talk talk about you for something, why why would you not want to be known as a guy that bangs night, hot 19-year-old models? Because it's got, listen, you and I know that, but I'm just talking Hollywood-wise and PR-wise, it makes you look skeevy. Well, I was going to, well, it would be skeevy if, skeezy or whatever you said at 17, 18. He doesn't like the criticism. Okay. He well. says he doesn't, his PR people, he doesn't like all these suggestions that he's seeking out young women. Weren't you roasting Henry Cavill for having a 19-year-old girlfriend? Because he said he, I think you reported on him putting a status on his Instagram saying that she defends me against the world or something like that. Yeah, maybe. And you were like, ew. But why they, why yeah. can't he just say he likes to bang hot young chicks? Well, yeah. But again, it's these are single people. It's not like they dumped their wife and picked up a 19-year-old girl. These are single people. Yeah, Henry Cavill. I mean, they broke up six, seven years ago. But, yeah. I mean, yeah, okay. 
He was 33. She was 19. Big deal. It's when they go on and on about what an old soul she is. That's, exactly that's where you lose. That's, <laughs> what, that's what it was. <laughs> She's such an old soul. It's mm. like, oh, okay, come on, man. You know. She always says she was born in the wrong time. It goes back to she what Mary was, was talking about, where people 60s. have to, right, people make up reasons to not have kids. Uh-huh. You, just say. I like young hot chicks. Yeah, just say it. You're going to get thir- less crap about it. Right. I'm not 80. I'm 33 years old. And, and, I have a 19-year-old girlfriend. And, okay. And what in, in Leonardo DiCaprio's case, what would be the downside to him saying that? I That's like what I mean. hot young chicks. And what actor how, once he says that Because I think it makes you look skeevy and he is he his reputation is that he is a serious actor. He's very thoughtful about the roles he takes. I I, I see where he's who coming hasn't, from, who but hasn't fell victim to hot young chicks. I don't understand you. What, uh, but I'm gay. That's and, why you don't fall victim to hot young chicks. But I've had sex with a It's a feature, not a bug. Huh? I've had sex with a 19-year-old. It, it, yeah, I know. But how old were you when you did that? You weren't 48 years old. No, but if a 19-year-old wanted to holler at me, I, would, I wouldn't I would date him, but I would still smash. They probably would holler at you. Get out of here, old man. <laughs> I was, They'd holler right at you. I was 27, and I did feel weird because I picked him up from his dorm. <laughs> that, the, that's weird. Yeah, I, did, that's... I didn't know it at the time, but he was a CSU student, and I picked him up at his dorm. I was like, all right, you're going to do this? Uh, because I don't want to be mean to him, but he's I'm not going to date him. He's got to go. <laughs> he's got to go. So I never did that again, but I did do it. Listen, as long as people are single, as long as everybody's legal, I don't see the problem. But uh, Leonardo DiCaprio does not like the jokes because that's what it is now, you know? They're making jokes at the Oscars, and they're making a guy sitting right there making jokes about him. Ah, she got too old for Leo. I mean, when that's all anybody's talking about, you're like, dude, I, I got raped by a bear in a movie. Hmm. Talk about that. That's. I thought that was always weird. That that was never sexual. That bear was not raping him. They're, they're just biting I, and stuff. We don't know what was going on. Yeah, it was a, Bill, it was, was a different bear. time. I also, I also think it was a. Uh, it was a different time. Female bear. So. No, again, I don't know how that works. It's the 19th century. I got to take a break. Uh, you want to text for something? 35192, allencoxshow.com is where the pictures come up. And uh, wherever you are, you can listen on the iHeartRadio app. Rover's Morning Glory. A 25 year old woman in Wisconsin killed. 